welcome all of you to this online workshop today in this workshop you will learn how to make money in trading using dynamic live the first ever stock market intelligence of the world now earlier in the webinar you must have seen there are some very unique benefits of having this dynamic live as a trader and you have also seen there are some very unique uh, intelligence at work in this dynamic live which always make sure that you get the right entry and right exit in any given market condition now having said that today in this session we will learn things in a bit more detail because when it comes to trading practical trading now what are you going to do how are you going to trade what are the points that you have to remember now these are all the points that we will remember uh, discuss today now once you have subscribed for this dynamic live and when you got it installed and activated when you open it this is how it is going to look now in this dynamic live <clears throat> the first thing is you can add any of your favorite stock or index by clicking on this favorites as it is shown in the webinar and once you add it this is how you will be able to see two different charts now one on the right side we call it as the intra week chart and the one on the right, uh, left side we call it as the intra day three chart and in both these charts you can see there is a line here and we call this line as the long signal right now if you are looking at the long signal in an intra week chart we call it as intra week long signal if you are looking at the long signal in intra day chart we call it as the intra day 3 long signal got it now before we start understanding the method here when to buy and when to sell there are three basic things that you have to understand the first thing is this long signal has a character it can change its color from green to red from red to green now whenever it turns green it means it is telling you to buy it says that the trend is up whenever it turns red it means it is telling you that the trend is down so just by looking at the color of the long signal you will be able to understand whether the trend of the price is up or down this is the first thing and second most important thing here is the zigzag caution so you can see here right at the bottom there is a green colored symbol that is a zigzag caution even on top there is a red colored symbol here let me zoom in a bit if it uh, if it is possible uh, let us see if you can if it can be seen very clearly yes you can see right at the top there is a red colored symbol now there is a zigzag caution now if it appears on the, at the bottom it is green in color if it appears on top it is red in color even an intra week uh, chart also you will come across these zigzag cautions now whenever the zigzag caution appears it means it identifies the temporary price reversals it means the price is about to reverse so well now you may have a question in your mind saying that now there are so many symbols now which one do we consider to be a zigzag caution now for that you just have to come look at this reason here in the reason it will be very clearly written as id3 zigzag it means intra day 3 zigzag or it will be written as intra week zigzag got it so this is how you understand whether the symbol that is displayed is a zigzag caution or not and then uh, there is a third one normally when the zigzag caution appears uh we tend to exit our trades now we will come to that point uh, let us move on to the third and last thing here that is uh, the long signal edge point you can see here the price starts moving up at some point it is touching the long signal on top it is nearby and it is touching the long signal on top even at this point you can see it has come very close to the long signal from the bottom even in the intra week chart you can see here it has uh, moved up very close to the long signal on top from top it has come down very close to the long signal so these are all the points we call it as edge points okay now whenever the price touches the long signal or whenever the price comes closer to the long signal these points we call it as long signal edge point but how do you know that uh, when it comes closer that it is a long signal edge point or not for that once again you just have to come look at this reason because in the reason it will be very clearly written as id3 long signal edge or intra week long signal edge by that you will very clearly understand that uh, whether this is a edge point or not got it so normally when the price reaches edge points there are chances that the price can reverse so we tend to exit our trades very early and some of the uh, you know uh, false exit can also be avoided in many cases so these are the things that uh, will happen with the help of edge points so these are the three basic things now let us move on to the actual concept now as it is told in the webinar it is a matter of just one two three easy steps first step being you just have to click on this favorite to select your favorite stock or index once you have done that come look at this action information to understand what trade you are supposed to do 
so in this action information there will be certain very clear instructions that you will get like if the price starts increasing as it happened today at this point when the price started increasing it was very clearly written here as buy call option now and later once it tells you buy call option it is now telling us hold call option it means you hold the call option that you have already bought at some point here it will be very clearly written as exit call option now so when it says exit call option now that is when you can go ahead and exit your trade got it so similarly when the price starts decreasing when the price start decreasing now at this point it will be very clearly written as buy put option now later it will tell you to hold put option finally at some point it will be written as exit put option now so when to enter when to hold how long to hold and finally when to exit complete information will be mentioned there your job is to just follow it right now when you are following it there is one more additional thing that you have to follow and that is when the action says buy call option now or buy put option now now there is one more important thing and that is to select the right strike price got it so how to select the right strike price today you don't have to worry even that is automatically identified here so whenever it tells you to buy a call option you can come look at this pyramid pointing upward pick one number out of these three that is your right strike price similarly when it tells you to buy a put option you can come look at this pyramid pointing downwards pick one number out of these three that is your right strike price but out of these three which is the right one to pick and that is a question you have to understand whenever you are trading in a index option or in a stock option now there are monthly contracts available for us to trade now monthly contracts are these are the month, uh, option contracts which has one month validity it expires on the last thursday of every month since it has one month validity we can split it up into three parts and the first part we can call it as the beginning of the month the second part we can call it as the middle of the month and the third part we can call it as the end of the month got it so in the beginning of the month if it tells you to buy a call option or a put option first of all how do you know that it is the beginning of the month or not for that you just have to look at today's date right so if you look at today's date 18th uh, you know what is this 18th june 2020 so we are almost at the end of the month isn't it right because 25th june is the expiry of the monthly contract so we are at the end of the month so by looking at the date you will be able to understand so when it tells you to buy a call option or a put option in the beginning of the month it's better you always select the otm strike price to start with and then in the middle of the month if you get any trading opportunity you can select the atm strike price and at the end of the month if it gives you any trading opportunity you can select the itm strike price got it so this is how you can you can select the right strike prices here now at the same time when you come and trade in the index options like nifty and bank nifty now in this uh, uh, you know along with the monthly options we also have weekly options to trade first thing if you want to trade in weekly options without any confusion without panicking anywhere uh, then it's better you stick on to only the itm strike price to trade that would be better and then uh, if you're trading uh, you know over a period of experience you will understand when to go for a atm or a otm but then initially it is better you stick on to that uh, this is how you select the right strike price now whenever it tells you to buy a call option or a put option the first thing that you are supposed to do is select the right strike price here and just go ahead and do the trade okay now once you have done the trade once you have bought a call option or a put option now wait until it very clearly tells you here to exit call option now or exit put option now this is what you are supposed to do got it so this is the first thing now the other additional thing that you have to do here is now when you take an entry after taking an entry whether if you have bought a call option as the price starts increasing you can see there are some symbols that keep appearing if you have bought a put option if the price is coming down you can see there are once again symbols appearing at the bottom so these are all the symbols we either call them as a dynamic system caution or a, it, it can be a dmb ots but whatever it is if any symbol appears it means secure your profits if any of these symbols appear it means secure your profits got it so these symbols appear only in the intra week chart okay now how to secure your profits let me tell you now today at this point in time it very clearly told to buy call option now so i happened to buy a call option at 22000 strike price the next week uh, uh, contract uh, call option i bought it at around 100 and, uh, you know 140 rupees 142 if i'm not wrong 142 that is the price that i have bought and by the time the market closed it closed at 171 but let's assume the price starts going up tomorrow and as the price starts going up let us say some symbol appeared 
now when this symbol appears now i know that i have to secure my profit but when i look at this action information it will still be telling me to hold call option okay it will still be telling me to hold call option but now since the symbol has appeared here now i have to secure my profit now how do i secure my profit now when the symbol appears i will go check the call option that i have already bought i bought it at 142 rupees let us say it is trading at almost uh, 300 rupees when the symbol appeared now what i'll do here is first thing to secure my profit i will sell it off i will sell the call option exit the call option that i have already bought let us say i exited at 300 rupees so what happened i bought at 142 exited at 300 rupees i'm getting almost 158 points profit plus my initial capital is also back isn't it now along with this now since i've got a profit out of this profit part of the profit i will go reinvest let us say i buy a 23000 strike price call option at a premium of let's say uh, 50 rupees uh, premium so out of 158 points profit i have 50 rupees i am reinvesting to buy another call option with a different strike price but remember earlier i had a call option now once again i am getting into a new call option only thing is that the strike price is different so in this process what has happened is uh, i have uh, reinvested only part of my profit that i want or in some cases part of my initial capital so this process we call it as shift over now once i have shifted over let us say if the price starts reversing now if the price starts reversing the only thing that will happen here is that 50 rupees premium can become zero even if it becomes a zero i don't bother just because i've already secured 108 points profit but instead if the price starts moving up further then the 50 rupees premium will further increase to 200 or beyond so i will make more profits there also got it so there's a process of uh, securing your profit we call it as shift over so this is all that you are supposed to do whenever it tells you to buy a call option or a put option select the right strike price and just do the trade once you have done the trade wait until it tells you to exit the call option to finally exit the trade but in between after you enter into a trade if any symbols like this appear any symbol for that matter then immediately secure your profit that is shift over okay now after shifting over let us say at this point i told you i will buy at 50 rupees uh, premium call option uh, if the price goes there and then uh, from there when the price starts coming down now we are not going to wait every time until it becomes a zero at some point it is going to tell us to exit the call option by the time i exit the 50 rupees call option maybe i exited at 25 rupees so what is happening at least the 25 rupees is coming back once again it is adding up to my profit isn't it all right because my capital is already back and now i am trading only with my profits so there is a major benefit here this is all that you are supposed to do but here there is one more point that you have to remember if these symbols appear on a expiry date or one day before the expiry date in such a case what will happen is you can shift over but directly to the next contract shift over to the next contract remember this and let us say today once we bought this call option at 142 rupees it anyways went up to 180 odd so it was trading there but let us assume now this is a friday or some day but after this next day there is a series of holidays coming up two days or three days of holidays coming up in such a case even then we can shift over now what i'll do i will exit it off at 175 rupees premium so i get almost uh, you know 30 35 points gain here now i will go buy another call option let us say 22 500 strike price call option i will buy it at a 90 rupees premium so what is happening is initial my uh, my initial capital was 140 now my investment here is only 90 rupees so i have uh, taken back 50 points so only 90 rupees is the uh, capital invested here that will be my maximum risk plus additional 35 points profit is also taken back so my, my risk reduces considerably here so this is how you trade in options so uh, these points you have to keep in mind now the right way to do is first decide your capital based on your capital select a quality stock or an index in the beginning trade the same script for one entire month now that is the right way to do easiest way to do but rather than trading multiple script you can trade multiple script but then tra trading a, a single script for one entire month it gives you a, a very clear focus and uh, the results will also be achieved very easily now all that you are supposed to do is just blindly follow this for one entire month now when you do that we expect you to earn a minimum of 10 to 15% returns at least per month and you know that earning 10 to 15% returns is not a small returns it is a big return isn't it so that can very easily be achieved if you can mechanically follow this 
but during the process when you are following this now what will happen is in the entire month you will come across lot many trades in all these trades you will start seeing results like gain gain minus minus gain gain minus 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 gain 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 or it may also start off like minus 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 gain 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 minus minus gain gain right so this is how you will see results uh, on trade after trade uh, okay so whatever happens just make sure that you implement it completely for one entire month when you do that eventually at the end of the month you will end up with minimum of 10 to 15 percent returns but during this process it is also noticed that when people see couple of minus trade they panic they stop trading they change to some other script they change the concept itself and they keep doing trial and error the more you try to do that one or the other way you will end up winding up your whole capital got it so the right way to trade here is to follow some discipline so the discipline here we call it as the money management now how to do money management very in simple words i'll put it uh, you know uh, put it forward today decide your capital first whatever is your capital now utilize only 10% of your capital per trade if you want your trading to be very peaceful without any tension if you want to trade then the right way to do is utilize only 10% of your capital per trade so today let us assume today i had uh, bought a call option at a 142 rupees premium so per lot the investment uh, required here is uh, how much 20 is the lot size so 2800 rupees is the investment required here so let us assume i have a lakh rupees capital with me so i will utilize 10 percent which is 10000 rupees so 10000 rupees is my allocation for this trade per but uh, per lot it is only 2800 required since i have a 10000 allocation i can go for three lots isn't it i can trade three lots uh, directly here so i will uh, trade by three lots and i will wait for the exit here so this is how you trade as per this uh, basic step very easy step anyone can implement it and uh, you can also see very good results here and the minimum returns i'm talking about 10 15 percent there are many months where it gives you more returns also only thing is that you just have to make sure that you implement it correctly without any mistakes mechanically as it tells you to do and along with that keep doing the shift over especially when you're trading in options right now when you keep doing it over a period of time when this becomes a habit you will definitely feel that now earning 10 15 percent returns has become a habit now is there anything more that we can do to increase the returns in that case let me tell you dynamic live can be used in multiple ways to earn huge returns there is a very advanced concept like dynamic superpower trading wherein we will be trading to capture com almost a com complete movement there right so there we are working for a huge return but then today we are discussing only about the Daumantic method level two and in this there are two more additional steps which will help you enhance your returns now how to do that let us move on to the second step here now in the second step whenever the action tells you to buy a call option or a put option there is one thing that you have to do before you do the trade and that is to check intraday three long signal and you must also check intra week long signal okay let me zoom in this intra week chart a bit yes so whenever it tells you to buy a call option check intraday three long signal and also check intra week long signal now uh, what do we check here let us say at this point today where it was very clearly mentioned as buy call option now so when it said buy call option now we saw intraday three long signal was green in color and intra week long signal was also green in color it means they both are telling you that the trend is up right so both the long signals are telling you that the trend is up and you are planning to buy a call option so your trade is in favor of the trend so no thinking no guessing just go ahead and do the trade got it so that is the reason i bought a call option today but there are cases where let me show you another example there are cases where at this point in time it was very clearly written as buy call option now but when it said buy call option now we checked intraday three long signal it was red in color we checked the uh, intra week long signal that was also red in color it means they both are saying that the trend is down right so when the trend is down you are planning to buy a call option now what is happening is you are going against the trend isn't it now when you are going against the trend it means that there is a mismatch isn't it there is a mismatch so when there is a mismatch now all that you have to do is before you do the trade check some other script related to the script that you are trading 
So if you're trading in Bank Nifty, go check what is happening in Nifty at the same time. Now this process, when you're trading in one script, going and checking some other script in order to, uh, you know, uh, uh, take a decision whether to do this trade or not. This process we call it as Tenkai signals. T E N K I. Tenkai signals. Now uh, there are some of you who are typing your questions, uh, Mr. Shiv Kumar, Mr. Jaismin, Mr. Nitesh. Now all I would like to tell you here is. I will come to your questions one way or the other at the end of the session. We will definitely have a time to discuss this. But then during the session, do uh, do uh, you know listen to all the important points that we are discussing because the time and again when you keep uh, uh, listening to it, uh, then what will happen? You will become very strong in this uh, concept and your implementation will be very clear. Got it? Mr. Jaismin in uh, Hindi, uh, you, you whatever questions you have, you keep it at the end of the session so that well, your questions, I'll reply back in Hindi itself. So, but then until the session comes to an end, you just have to wait there. So, as I was telling you, so when there is a mismatch, so at this point, when it said uh, buy call option now, there is a mismatch because intraday three long is in a, a pointing downward, intra week long is also pointing downward. So, because of this, since there is a mismatch, we must go check the Tenkai signal. Now, if you're trading in Bank Nifty, then Nifty will be your Tenkai signal. If you're trading in Nifty, then Bank Nifty will be your Tenkai signal. Got it? So let us go check what is happening in Nifty at the same time. But in Nifty, what will we check? What do we check in Nifty? There are only two things that you must check in Nifty. When Bank Nifty said buy call option now, and since there was a mismatch in Nifty at the same time, is there any zigzag caution? Or is there any long signal edge point? This is what these are the two things that you are supposed to check. Check both intraday three chart as well as the intra week chart. Got it? So when you check both these things, if the zigzag caution or if the long signal edge point, if any one of these two are there, then we will avoid the trade in bank nifty. We will not do the trade in bank nifty. Okay, because near edge point and zigzag are the you know these are the cautions for reversal. Price reversals, isn't it? So if the price of Nifty reverses, then Bank Nifty price will also reverse. So that trade could uh, eventually end up being a minus trade. So when we see this, so we will avoid doing the trade, right? So so in this case, when it said uh, buy call option now, since there was a mismatch, it was very clearly written as buy call option now a few days back. Since there was a mismatch, we went and checked uh, uh, Nifty at the same time. And we saw that in Nifty, there was an edge point. There was an edge point. Since there was an edge point, we completely avoided the trade. We did not do the trade. If there was no edge point, if there was no zigzag, nothing was there, then we would have done this trade. Even if there is a mismatch, we would have gone forward to do this trade. Got it? So this is all that we do in the second step. Remember, all that we do is whenever the action tells you to buy a call option or a put option, check intraday three long and check intra week long signal. If they both are supporting your trade, then go ahead and do it. If they both are not supporting, or in some cases, even if any one is not supporting, because some cases one will be green, another will be in red, right? So uh, even if any one is not supporting, then uh, what will happen is you must check the Tenkai signal. Now, why? when do we check the Tenkai signal? Only if there is a mismatch, we go check the Tenkai signal. Why do we check the Tenkai signal? We check the Tenkai signal to decide whether to do this trade or not to do this trade. Now, these are the important points I would like you people to make a note of. Right? Now, I will repeat it again. I hope uh, you people will make a note of it. Right? When the action tells you to buy a call option or a put option, check intraday three long and intra week long. If they both are supporting, then go ahead and do the trade. If they both are not supporting or even if any one of them is not supporting, it means there is a mismatch. When there is a mismatch, you must check a Tenkai signal. There is one uh, a rule that you must follow. Now, uh, why do we check Tenkai signal? We check it because we have to take a decision whether to do this trade or not to do this trade. That is the reason we check the Tenkai signal. What do we check in Tenkai signal? We will check only two things. Is there a zigzag caution or is there a long signal edge point? In some cases, both will also be there. But if any one of these two is there, then we will avoid the trade. If none of these two is there, then we will go ahead and do the trade, even if there is a mismatch. So these are the only additional points that you have to follow here as far as the second step is concerned. 
when you do that in a month when in comparison to the first step you will see that in one entire month uh, uh, there will be certain trades you will end up avoiding those trades you will end up avoiding those trades now when you avoid those trades most of the trades you will see that they would have eventually ended up being a minus trade but since you have avoided them here those trades are uh, you know you have been successfully uh, you have uh, successfully avoided a minus trade so when you avoid some minus trade when the number of minus trade decreases then what happens is your profits will increase your balance will increase isn't it so if you can blindly implement mechanically implement the second step we expect you to earn a minimum of 20 to 25 percent returns now this is one statement i want you people to focus very clearly on i'm saying that we expect you to earn a minimum of 20 to 25 percent returns uh, every month this is the minimum returns there are many other returns uh, yeah many uh, other months where you get more returns also but then there's a minimum return that you can expect okay so this is the second step now once the second step also becomes a habit now if you want to move on to the third uh, and final step now let us understand but if you have understood the second step very clearly then third step is very very easy third step is very very easy now what do we do in the third step it is very simple we just add one small point to the second step that is whenever the action tells you to buy a call option or a put option check intraday three long signal to see if it is supporting check intra week long signal to see if it is supporting check dynamic system also now what is dynamic system dynamic system is another intelligent platform we use it to do positional trading in stocks and uh, index futures or options right we can also use it for long term or short term investment in equity segment but how to do positional trading using dynamic system now there is a very clearly defined method we call that method as the level 2 trading method now there is a small training video on that it is a matter of 20 25 minutes a training video there now you can watch that video to understand the method where is the video i will show you at the end of the session shortly now but then as per the dynamic system positional trading method what is the current position are you supposed to be holding a long position or are you supposed to be holding a short position this is what you're supposed to check right so let me give you an example for uh, as of today now today at this point when it said uh, buy call option now it was written buy call option now so before we did the trade we checked intraday three long signal it was green in color so it means it is supporting isn't it because it says the trend is up and similarly when we checked the uh, intra week long signal that was also green in color so that is also supporting and we checked the dynamic system also as per dynamic system the level 2 trading method now we had the, just then the long position got initiated once the price of uh, bank nifty crossed 20,886 the long position started today so there also we are supposed to be holding a long position so all three of them are pointing upward since all three of them are supporting so no thinking no guessing just go ahead and do the trade so we did the trade i did the trade i bought the call option got it similarly there are situations let me take uh, some other example like uh, I'm just giving you a vague example here. So let us see this. Let us say at this point in time, let's say that at this point in time, it was telling us buy call option now. So when we checked intraday three long signal, it was green, it was supporting. We checked intra week long signal, that was also green, it was also supporting. But let's assume when we check dynamic system level two trading method, as per that, we are supposed to be holding a short position. Now what is happening? There is a mismatch, right? Both long signals are supporting, but dynamic system is not supporting. In this case, uh, in real trading, it did not happen that way. But I'm just giving you a vague example to make you understand this concept, right? If any one of these three is not supporting, that is intraday three long signal, intra week long signal, and dynamic system level two trading method. If any one of these two is not supporting, it means there is a mismatch, isn't it? It means there is a clear mismatch. In some cases, uh, let me show you this example here.
so in this case you can uh, see here not this so this was a case where it very clearly said uh, buy call option now so when it said buy call option now we saw intraday three long signal it is red in color so already there is a mismatch so i don't even have to go check what's happening in the intra week and dynamic system my only point here is to see is there a mismatch or not so the first guy itself said it is a mismatch so directly my job is to go check the tenkai signal so i will check in the tenkai signal is there any zigzag or long signal edge point if it is there then i, I will avoid the trade if it is not there then i will do the trade so in this case what happened uh, there was a mismatch we checked the tenkai signal that is nifty in nifty there was no edge point there was no zigzag caution so since there was nothing we went ahead and we did this trade we bought the call option once we bought the call option it started moving up with the very next 30th minute in the next half an hour it uh, immediately told us to exit with some good profits we were able to exit the trade so almost 20 30% returns was achieved in that particular trade we exited it got it so this is how you follow the third step and in order to complete this third step there is one last point that i would like to convey here for that i have to open the dynamic system let me show you the dynamic system now this is a dynamic system here in this dynamic system i have opened a daily chart of bank nifty now how to open a chart how to add all these studies uh, all these things you will find it in the training video related to dynamic system but once you have done that you know th these are all the price movements this is the price movement every day is price movement and whenever the price is trading above all three uh, sorry before that let me also tell you there are three lines along with the price you can see the black line we call it as p trend the green line we call it as mid trend the purple line we call it as long trend got it so whenever the price is trading above all three uh, trends it means it is in a clear uptrend and whenever the price is trading below all three lines we can say that it is in a clear downtrend but there are times where the price is trading between the three lines you can see here so these are the two cases where it has been trading between the three lines now this is a phase which we call it as in between trend we call these two as in between trend so whichever stock or index that you are planning to trade if that uh, stock or index is in uh, in between trend as per the dynamic system daily chart in such a case whatever trade that you get here either a call option or a put option for every trade you must check the tenkai signal now there is one very important point i would like you people to make a note of if the stock is in in between trend then you must check the tenkai signal for every trade and uh, to decide whether to do this trade or not to do this trade got it so there is one important point so this ends the third step so this completes the third step so if you follow this third step what will happen is in comparison to the first and second step the st third step will help you uh, you know reduce the number of trade uh, minus trades uh, drastically there will be certain months in a year you will see that literally there will be zero minus trade if you are following the third step so when the number of minus trades uh, reduces in a big way then the returns will also increase and uh, your balance will also increase so if you can mechanically implement this third step then we expect you to earn a minimum of 30 to 40 percent returns at least per month right 30 to 40 percent returns minimum there are many months where it gives you more than 100 percent returns also but let us keep the minimum to be around 30 to 40 percent this much at least can be earned provided you follow it mechanically right so this is all about today's session now before i come to your questions there's a last thing now if anyone wants to learn about the dynamic system i told you there are training videos now where to find them let me show you for that you have to open our official website that is dynamiclive.in now open the official website now this is the official website got it so in this official website you can see here there is this uh, members area in the menu now just click on this members area now once you click on this members area it will ask you for your email id and password once you are subscribed you will be given a password to log in to this members area you will get a lifetime access remember now once you log into this and uh, please make sure that you sa save your password somewhere so that you don't forget it and uh, once you log into the members area in the menu once again you can see it is written as training 2020 
So just click on this training 2020. So once you click on this training 2020, these are all the training videos, reference training videos for you to clarify all your doubts. And all these videos are there in multiple languages, English, Hindi, Kannada, and Tamil, so that whichever language is comfortable for you, you can go watch it. And if anyone wants to learn about dynamic system from scratch, then the first video I would like to like you to watch here is this dynamic system basic navigation. So here you will understand how to open chart, how to open report, what is there inside dynamic system. Now all these details you will come to know. And after that, then you can scroll it down a bit. Now once you scroll it down a bit, there is this uh, dynamic system level 2 trading method. Now this is the tra positional trading method that I was talking about. You have to watch and understand. But before you watch it, watch the level 1 trading method. Now after that, if you watch the level 2 trading method, then it becomes very easy for you to understand. Okay. So these are the three videos related to dynamic system. And after that, you can scroll it down to watch the other reference videos. If any one of you is a beginner to options, watch this uh, option basics for beginners to learn more about it. And after that, you scroll it down a bit lower and then uh, you find this options trading and money management for beginners. Now, I want you people to watch this video because in this video, it is very clearly explained how to select the right strike price, how to shift over to uh, secure your profits and how to do money management and options. And after that, you can scroll it down to the last two videos. These are the last two. Now, today we discussed the first step, which can help you earn some 10 to 15 percent minimum return. Now, that method has been explained here. That is a Daumantic method. And after that, the second and third step is explained in this video. That is Daumantic method and the Tenkai signals. You can watch this video. This is one last video. I want you people to watch it because I told you if you're trading in Bank Nifty, then Nifty is your Tenkai signal. If you're trading in Nifty, then Bank Nifty will be your Tenkai signal. But if you're trading in any other stock, then which is your Tenkai signal? How to identify? Where to go and check? All these details are explained in this video. Do watch it without fail at your leisure time. Got it? So these are all the things. So this is all about today's session, gentlemen. Uh, I hope you have understood it. Now, if you have any other questions or doubts, you can ask me now. Right. So to start with, uh, Mr. Jaisman has started with the Axis Bank. Let us check what has happened with Axis Bank here. Jaisman ji. ये है एक्सिस बैंक का और इस एक्सिस बैंक में देखिए एक्शन अभी भी होल्ड पुट ऑप्शन बता रहा है हां अभी आप सोच रहे होंगे प्राइस ऊपर जाने पर भी ये होल्ड क्यों बता रहा है क्योंकि जब प्राइस ऊपर जा रहा है वो क्लियर मूवमेंट देना चाहिए जब तक वो क्लियर मूवमेंट नहीं देगा तब तक ये आपको एग्जिट या एंट्री नहीं बताएगा तो यहां पर जब प्राइस ऊपर बढ़ा यहां पर देखिए इंट्रा वीक में एक जिगजैग क्वेश्चन आ रहा था जिसके वजह से उसने अभी तक होल्ड पुट ऑप्शन बताया है पर मार्केट क्लोज होने से पहले प्राइस थोड़ा और आगे जा चुका है तो शायद कल सुबह जब मार्केट खुलेगा उस समय पर ये एग्जिट पुट ऑप्शन और बाय कॉल ऑप्शन बता सकता है ठीक है तब आप क्या कीजिए अपने पुट ऑप्शन को एग्जिट करके कॉल ऑप्शन को जरूर खरीदिएगा तो ये है एक्सिस बैंक का पर खरीदने से पहले एक चीज देखिए इंट्राडे 3 लॉन्ग ग्रीन में है अभी तो वो तो सपोर्ट कर ही रहा है अगर ये कॉल ऑप्शन बोलेगा तो इंट्रा वीक भी ग्रीन हो चुका होगा वो भी सपोर्ट कर रहा है पर डायनामिक सिस्टम लेवल 2 ट्रेडिंग मेथड के हिसाब से क्या वहां पर हम लॉन्ग पोजीशन रहना चाहिए हमारे हमारे पास वो एक बार चेक कर लीजिए अगर वो भी लॉन्ग पोजीशन बता रहा है तब आंख बंद करके जाके इस कॉल ऑप्शन को खरीदिए ठीक है जैस्मिन जी क्लैरिटी मिला आपको एक्सिस बैंक में हाँ या नहीं आप रिप्लाई करोगे तभी मुझे भी पता चलेगा और दूसरा क्वेश्चन आपका है बैंक निफ्टी इज वेरी बिग स्टॉप लॉस पहली चीज आप स्टॉप लॉस क्यों लगाते हो देखिए मैं मैं आपको मेरा खुद का ट्रेडिंग दिखाता हूं ये एक बार देखिए आपको शायद क्लैरिटी मिलेगा यहां पर मैं आज मेरा लेटर स्टेटमेंट आपको नहीं दिखा सकता क्योंकि मैंने उसको डाउनलोड नहीं किया सेशन से पहले 
तो फिर भी मैं ये जो अकाउंट फाइल हम मेंटेन करते हैं इसको मैं दिखाता हूं तो ये है मेरा ट्रेडिंग खुद का ट्रेडिंग है मेरा लेटर स्टेटमेंट भी कल आपको दिखा दूंगा सेशन में इसमें कोई एतराज नहीं है मुझे तो यहां पर देखिए नाइनटीन थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड रुपीज कैपिटल से मैंने शुरू किया है और यहां से फर्स्ट अप्रैल से लेके मैंने ट्रेडिंग शुरू किया है पहले ही ट्रेड में मेरा कैपिटल देखिए मतलब पांच हजार रुपए का माइनस हुआ है और पहले ट्रेड का कैपिटल इन्वेस्टमेंट कितना है देखिए एक लॉट मैंने ट्रेड किया और टू हंड्रेड का प्रीमियम मैंने खरीदा है तो इन्वेस्टमेंट कितना कितना हुआ यहाँ पर करीबन छह का इन्वेस्टमेंट हुआ छह हजार से दो सौ रुपए या तो, मतलब तीन सौ रुपए कम होगा है कि नहीं तो उतना मैंने इन्वेस्ट किया है उसमें से छह हजार में से फाइव थाउजेंड थ्री नाइनटी थ्री रुपीज का मेरा माइनस हुआ है और वहां से मेरा कैपिटल कम होके सीधा चौदह हजार तक आ गया वहां से देखिए कहीं एक जगह पर हाँ चौदह हजार ही लोवेस्ट था चौदह हजार तक ही मेरा लोवेस्ट आया है वहां से 22,000 गया फिर से वहां से 14,000 आया ये प्लस एंड माइनस होते आ रहे हैं मैं तो मेरे ट्रेडिंग में थर्ड स्टेप के हिसाब से मैं ट्रेड कर रहा हूं फर्स्ट और सेकंड स्टेप के हिसाब से मैंने नहीं किया है क्योंकि मेरा कैपिटल बहुत कम है तो कम कैपिटल होने के वजह से मैं 10 परसेंट एलोकेशन के हिसाब से ट्रेड नहीं करना चाहता था थोड़ा एलोकेशन मुझे बढ़ाना था बढ़ाने के लिए मैंने क्या किया थर्ड स्टेप फॉलो किया क्योंकि मुझे इसमें पता है कि पहले दो स्टेप को कंपेयर करने पर थर्ड स्टेप में नंबर ऑफ माइनस ट्रेड बहुत कम होते हैं तो इसके वजह से मैंने थर्ड स्टेप को फॉलो किया और वहां से लेके देखिए पी एंड एल को आपको दिख रहा है बहुत क्लियरली प्लस प्लस कौन सा है माइनस कौन सा है यहां से पूरा महीना मैंने इसको इंप्लीमेंट आंग बंद करके मैंने इंप्लीमेंट किया मैंने यहां पर एक माइंड बना लिया कि ये प्रॉफिट होगा माइनस होगा मुझे पता नहीं कैपिटल एरोड हो जाएगा वो भी मुझे पता नहीं मैं तो यहाँ पर सिर्फ इतना ही करूंगा क्या मैं इस कॉन्सेप्ट को मैकेनिकली इंप्लीमेंट कर सकता हूं या नहीं कर सकता हूं ये देखने के लिए ही मैंने कम कैपिटल से शुरू किया आई होप ऑल अदर्स आर ऑल्सो एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड मैन आई एम टॉकिंग इन हिंदी इफ देर इज एनी वन इज नॉट एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड देन प्लीज टेक्स मी आई विल एक्सप्लेन दिस इन इंग्लिश एज वेल राइट सो तो यहां पर ये इंप्लीमेंट करने पर फोर्थ अप्रैल फोर्थ मई को मेरा एक महीना पूरा खत्म हुआ खत्म होने से मेरा क्या हुआ कैपिटल देखिए बढ़ के करीबन थर्टी सिक्स थाउजेंड तक आ गया है तो मेरा इस पहले महीने में मेरा रिटर्न्स करीबन सेवेंटी परसेंट रिटर्न यहां पर मेरा हुआ है है कि नहीं और ये होने के बाद मैंने उसी को अभी थर्टी को नया कैपिटल मानकर मैंने कंटिन्यू किया दूसरा महीना दूसरा महीना कंटिन्यू करने पर क्या है देखिए थर्ड जून थर्ड जून को ये कदम होता है और मेरा कैपिटल करीबन फिफ्टी थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड रुपीज तक आ गया तो थर्टी सिक्स थाउजेंड से लेके फिफ्टी थाउजेंड तक अगर आया है तो आप रिटर्न्स कैलकुलेट करके देखिए करीबन चालीस परसेंट का रिटर्न्स है ये और इस महीने में जून महीने में बीच में मैंने ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट मे को एक ट्रेड मैंने अवॉइड कर दिया और मतलब अवॉइड मतलब मैंने मिस कर दिया कुछ और काम में मैंने वो ट्रेड मिस कर दिया अगर वो करता तो मेरा तीन हजार चार सौ रुपए प्रॉफिट और ज्यादा रहता तो पचास परसेंट रिटर्न हुआ होगा पर जो नहीं किया उसको भूल जाइए पर प्रैक्टिकली मेरे पास चालीस परसेंट का रिटर्न है दूसरा महीना है कि नहीं और अभी मेरा तीसरा महीना चल रहा है और तीसरे महीने में देखिए क्या हो रहा है ये कैपिटल मेरा अभी फोर्टी एट थाउजेंड नाइन हंड्रेड ये नहीं ये तो ट्रेड अभी होल्ड होल्डिंग पे है तो इससे पहले 48,399 मेरा कैपिटल है तो 50,000 से लेके मेरा करीबन 2,000 रुपए कम हुआ है पर अभी तक पूरा महीना खत्म नहीं हुआ है ये जुलाई सेकेंड या थर्ड को एक महीना मेरा खत्म होगा जहां से एक महीना शुरू हुआ उस समय पर देखिए ये कैपिटल ऑटोमेटिकली 30 टू 30 टू 40 परसेंट रिटर्न से ज्यादा आ चुका होगा ठीक है तो इस माइंड के हिसाब से हमें क्या चाहिए हमें एंड रिजल्ट चाहिए आपको क्या चाहिए आपको प्रॉफिट चाहिए है कि नहीं तो ये डोमेंटिक मेथड लेवल टू में थर्ड स्टेप्स के हिसाब से 30 टू 40 परसेंट मिनिमम रिटर्न आप कमा सकते हो ये स्टेटमेंट हमने बहुत क्लियरली बताया है इस सेशन में है कि नहीं तो हमने ये ये काम ऐसा किया है ये मेथड ऐसा है कि कुछ भी हो जाए आपको मिनिमम इतना रिटर्न आ जाए इसके लिए पूरा बनाया गया है बेसिक स्टेप है डोमेंटिक मेथड लेवल टू यहां पर देखिए बहुत क्लियरली लिखा है डोमेंटिक मेथड लेवल टू 
इसके बाद लेवल थ्री फोर फाइव सब कुछ है जो जब हम डायनामिक सुपर पावर ट्रेडिंग मेथड फाइनल मेथड जब पहुंच जाएंगे वहां पर हम तो बहुत बड़े रिटर्न्स के लिए काम करेंगे मिनिमम 283 परसेंट रिटर्न एवरी 30 डेज हमें कमाना है वहां तक हमें जाना है पर वो एक एडवांस्ड कॉन्सेप्ट है पर वहां तक जाने के लिए हमने क्या किया है इसको स्टेप बाय स्टेप हम ला रहे हैं आपके सामने क्योंकि जो पहले 10-15 परसेंट या 20 परसेंट रिटर्न नहीं कमाएगा वो दो सौ परसेंट कैसे कमाएगा आप समझ रहे हो ना मेरी बात ये सच है कि नहीं तो पहले स्टेप बाय स्टेप सभी स्टेप्स का आदत जब बन जाएगा तब एडवांस लेवल भी आपको बहुत आसान हो जाएगा और इंप्लीमेंटेशन तो आप आंख बंद करके कर सकते हो तो ये मेन पर्पस हमारा ये है कि भाई जो भी ज्वाइन कर रहे हैं इसको इन सब को कंपलसरी प्रॉफिट कमाना ही पड़ेगा तो इस आ, आ, क्या है लक्ष्य के साथ ये कॉन्सेप्ट हमने तैयार किया है तो स्टेप बाय स्टेप वहां पर जा रहे हैं तो यहां पर कहीं पर भी मैंने स्टॉप लॉस नहीं लगाया है यहां पर बीच में देखिए एक दो ट्रेड में ऐसा भी हुआ है कि बे मेरा प्रीमियम जीरो हो चुका है देखिए ये मेरा प्रीमियम जीरो हो चुका है इसे पहले भी एक ट्रेड देखिए मेरा प्रीमियम इधर जीरो हो चुका है पर जीरो हुआ नहीं हुआ इससे तो मुझे कुछ भी मतलब नहीं है मेरा तो इससे कुछ भी मतलब नहीं है मेरा तो ये पर्पस है कि भाई मैं इसको आंग बंद करके इंप्लीमेंट कर रहा हूं मैं तो इसको इसको छोड़ के कुछ और देख ही नहीं रहा करने से क्या मुझे मिनिमम 30 टू 40 परसेंट रिटर्न आ रहा है या नहीं आ रहा है मुझे इसी से मतलब है और जब तक ये आ रहा है मैं इसको आंख बंद करके इंप्लीमेंट करूंगा और जब ये आदत बन गया जब आप एक छोटे कैपिटल को इंप्लीमेंट करके आदत बन गया तब क्या कीजिए सीधा कैपिटल को बढ़ाइए ना उन्नीस के बदले में दस लाख कैपिटल रख के काम करिए ना आप जब काम करोगे 30-40 परसेंट मंथली रिटर्न 10 लाख कैपिटल के ऊपर 10 परसेंट मनी मैनेजमेंट करके कीजिए तो कितना होगा करीबन तीन से चार लाख रिटर्न्स हम कमा रहे हैं हर महीना आपको कहा मिलेगा ऐसा रिटर्न्स कौन से बिजनेस में ऐसे प्रॉफिट्स मिलेंगे बताइए ठीक है तो वो स्टेज पहुंचने के लिए पहली चीज हमें अपने आप को एक बहुत मैकेनिकल इंप्लीमेंटेशन करने के लिए माइंड हमारा लाना पड़ेगा उसके वजह से कम कैपिटल से हमने शुरू किया है मेरा माइंडसेट तो अभी आ चुका है और इसको करते करते मैंने तो अभी मन ये बना लिया है अभी दस लाख मुझे डालने की जरूरत नहीं इसी कैपिटल को दस लाख ले जाएंगे देखिए आपके साथ ये सेशन करते करते महीने जाते जाते जैसे समय बीतता जाएगा मेरा कैपिटल भी बढ़ेगा दस लाख के ऊपर ही ये जाएगा एक साल के अंदर ये बहुत बड़े नंबर तक जाएगा देखिए जब मैं इसी कॉन्सेप्ट को इंप्लीमेंट करके मैं प्रॉफिट कमा सकता हूं तब आप भी कमा सकते हो ना आपके तरह सभी भी कमा सकते हैं है कि नहीं तो ये रहा आ, मेरा जवाब मैं मानता हूं आपके क्वेश्चन का पूरा जवाब मैंने दिया है जैसमिन जी अगर कुछ कंफ्यूजन है तो जरूर बताइए चैटिंग में टेक्स्ट कीजिए एंड मिस्टर नितेश वॉन्ट्स टू चेक रिलायंस लेटेस्ट चेक रिलायंस so this is reliance in reliance you can see here this is the point where it told us to buy a call option now one of my uh, colleague uh, he is trading in uh, reliance so he had bought a call option and this is the point where he bought a call option now after buying a call option the price came down now when the price comes down obviously your premiums will reduce but the action told us hold call option it kept on telling us hold call option from here the price started increasing right now as the price started increasing today once it reached at this particular point now there was a dynamic system caution that appeared now when a dynamic system caution appeared uh, you know that you have to shift over secure your profit so we were uh, discussing today and he had a question saying that now my premium has come back to my entry price now how can i shift over i am not in profit right so this was his question obviously when you are in not when you are not in profit then how do you shift over so i told him see when you are trading in stock option uh, today is not the expiry date next week thursday is the expiry date so there is still time left so you can still hold on to the position wait for the price to move up further then your premium will go up in profit then you can think about a shift over so currently we are holding on to a call option in reliance but now anyone who's uh, if you have taken a 
different strike price let us say if you have traded in a atm or a itm strike price then you would have definitely been in profit and you could have definitely shifted over at this point in time today so this is about reliance and uh, let us check uh, hdfc bank before i come to mr uh, shiv kumar's question here so this is a case of hdfc bank in hdfc bank you can see here there are a series of zigzag that have appeared in intraday 3 even in intra week there is a zigzag that has come up but the price has still managed to move up slightly so today tomorrow morning when the price if it's uh, move, uh, you know opens on a higher note there are chances it can tell you buy a call option or uh, if the price moves up once there is a zigzag breakout in intraday 3 then by 9:30 in the morning it can tell you to buy a call option anyways the preparation is telling you to get ready to buy a call option so be prepared you may have to get into the trade there so this is about hdfc bank and uh, mr shiv kumar yesterday bank nifty buy pe 20200 today buy ca uh, every much gap of reversal so uh, mr shiv kumar now this is how the complete trading has happened and now this is how even i have traded so there is nothing to hide here this is how we go about the trading here our job is to blindly follow it right so let me show you my trade once again this is bank nifty in bank nifty we had bought a put option uh, sorry hold on so in bank nifty we had bought a put option somewhere at this point in time yesterday isn't it so i bought a 18000 strike price put option otm but i had bought the next contract just because uh, today was the expiry date i bought it at 122 rupees premium right now after buying it at 22 rupees premium the price is completely reversed now as the price completely reversed it gave me a buy here the price of bank nifty has moved up big way but my premium did not become zero i got an exit at 44 rupees let me show you that trade here so you can see here this trade of mine where the last one there is a th 1540 rupees minus in this particular trade but then i have not worried at all i have simply gone about implementing it why i am doing this is my end goal is to make profits at any cost month after month i want profits one year after this now from the second year at least i must take a minimum of 5 lakh rupees income every month this is my goal from the second year onwards so for that to earn 5 lakh rupees every month now you know that that is a huge income and in order to do that i hardly spend how much time you know it is a 6 and a half hours market once every 30 minutes i check this dynamic live and that too i check it for 1 minute and order placing everything put together 2 minutes so 2 minutes uh, you take it whole day it is like let us keep the whole day i am actually working on it for 30 minutes that's all but every once every 30 minutes i am checking it so this is all that i do but one year of dedication now from second year i will be earning minimum of 5 lakh rupees income every month so with this goal i have started and i am continuously implementing it and i have been achieving a constant uh, consistent returns right so that is the thing yes now very interesting question now all of you listen to this his question is how did you buy 18000 put when it is not mentioned in dynamic system very important question that he has asked here so let me show you this so the question here is now when it comes to buying a put option 18000 put option it was never mentioned in this pyramid uh, about 18000 now how did i go for 18000 strike price put option now those are the things uh, which has been explained in this training video of uh, you know that is the reason i told all of you please do watch this video when it comes to trading in options now how do we select the right strike price manually now that is also explained in this video now why am i doing this 
initially when i started with a very uh, small capital that is 19600 strike price when i looked at the at the money strike price or even in the money strike price the premiums were like 500 600 rupees so if i take 500 rupees premium then i'm talking about 10000 rupees investment per lot isn't it but my capital itself was 19600 rupees so i cannot afford it so i had to go out of the box i had to go out of the box so i had to trade otm strike price in order to get lesser premiums right so that is the way i started in the otm strike price so i normally go for uh, 500 rupees different like uh, uh, 19,000, 19,500 or 18,000. Okay, this is how I go for the strike price selection. Those things are very clearly mentioned in this. Okay, in this video, do watch it. And then that is the way I went for 18,000 strike price put option because the premium available there was 122 rupees. Okay, so initially when I started, I got used to this 100 and uh, 100 rupees to 200 rupees premiums. All my trades were between 100 rupees to 200 rupees premiums. So I'm completely used to that. And from there, when I started trading slowly, my capital grew. Now, once a profit making uh, uh, routine becomes a habit, then don't change it. So that is what I have done. I have not changed it. So I've continuously uh, kept on doing the same thing. I'm still trading with a single lot. I could have gone for a second lot, but I'm maintaining the single lot. Sometime sooner, my uh, capital crosses beyond 60,000 or above, then I will go for the second lot once again. So uh, even at that point, I will stick on to the same premium because I've got used to this uh, profit making habit. So as long as I do that, I will keep on making profit. But there are cases where let me show you some examples. So let us take this particular example here. Where the trade has fetched me minus 60, 60 rupees uh, minus. So the same trade, there are other members uh, watching the, who have gone through the session and they are following. They did not do the same strike price that I have done. They have gone for the in the money or the at the money strike price as it is shown on the pyramid in uh, dynamic life. And in the same trade, they have achieved a close to three to five thousand rupees profit. But my trade ended up being a minus 60 rupees. Right. So when you are following that uh, dynamic live on the strike prices there and when you have the right capital there, there is absolutely no problem here. You can stick on to the strike prices mentioned here. And as long as you are doing that, your returns will also be very similar to what I am achieving. Only thing is my capital is different and your capital is different. Maybe the percentage return at the end of the month will be very similar. Right. In some cases, if you are following this pyramid, your returns will be a bit higher than what I have achieved just because, uh, you know, I am going completely OTM. Got it. So this is the benefit here. So I hope I have answered your question, Mr. Shiva Kumar. I hope you have understood this. Yes or no, please reply. And in the meantime, if anyone else has any other questions or doubts, you can ask me. All right, looks like there are no doubts. So gentlemen, thank you all for joining today, uh, today's session. I hope all your doubts are clarified. Wish you all a happy trading. See you on the next session tomorrow morning at the pre-market session. Uh, until then, very good evening to all of you. And thank you once again for joining.